You man, I've made progress, wrestling the darkness in my mind. I used to be everything in between suicidal to bloodthirsty. I'm not really sure what goes in between that, but I've been wrestling depression and resentment. And I'm only coming on here to say, I come on here to say that your dark side doesn't define you. That is a remnant of how you have been mistreated. That is, there is such a stigma around Christians having these types of issues. They don't define you. It's the decisions you make. It's the mentality you actively practice. You need to speak the word of God into your situation. The more you fill your head with truth, the less the darkness becomes. The darkness shrinks. The light grows. You need to speak the name of Jesus. As for resentment, my siblings in Christ, if blood had not already been spilled on Calvary, I would want to spill blood. But the blood of the Son of God was spilled on behalf of my enemies. Why then do I continue to pursue harming them in return? Why should I continue to pursue revenge? It's the fact that he had to die in order for their sins to be paid off. Now, if they don't do justice to that, it's on their hands. They either repent, which cannot be cheated because repentance is a change of heart and mind, or they'll have to answer to why they paid no value to the bloodshed of the only Son of God. There's no way around it. And then knowing that the creator of this universe will only ever do right by you, knowing what a real one God is, is so reassuring that you couldn't get angry even if you tried. Can I be snappy at times? If I'm not careful, yeah, but I think that's different than holding resentment. That's a work of patience. But going back to resentment, God will not waste your pain. God will not waste any sorrow that you have been through. God will do justice to everything that was unjust in your life. We've already seen how serious God is about injustice. Just look at Calvary. He doesn't play about injustice. and He will do right by every wrong ever done to you. Or if you're struggling with guilt, or maybe you think that God has yet to punish you for something you did in the past. Again, look at Calvary. Your sins have been paid for. You will be okay. Speak life into today. God loves you. I love you.